Let's talk about MFF. There's a lot of misunderstanding out there at the moment. So many videos saying this is the end of prop firms. I'm here to answer your questions and then explain how you can move forward as a trader, carry on in your trading journey and put the whole MFF situation behind you. The first big question is, is this the end of prop firms? In my opinion, no. Forget all the rubbish, all the clickbait, everything that you see online about this is the end, no more prop firms. People use that to get attention to try and promote their channel. What I'm here to do is to help you and explain that no, this is not the end of prop firms. We've had a situation with MFF where at the moment they are being investigated. There is a number of allegations against them, but that does not mean that it affects every other prop firm that's out there. So what are the allegations? The allegations are first off that they manipulated the markets, that there is a quote slipped them to hell within the documentation produced by the CFTC. The CFTC are who regulates the US markets and therefore they have the power based on that regulation to freeze the accounts of MFF that were in that industry in that country. I'll put the full link to the CFTC document below in the description. However, you can't let what's happened with MFF discourage you. Actually, I welcome the regulation because it's going to mean that the prop firms that are remaining have a lot higher standards that they have to keep up to to make sure that it's safe for you as a trader to trade and it protects you moving forward. I'm not going to go into too much detail about all the allegations. However, just to let you know, I've had an MFF account. I know other traders that have had an MFF account. If you've been trading in those conditions where actually, you know, they have been against you, against the odds, they've been stacking all the odds against you with the software that they've been using, and you've still come out profitable, then actually you've been trading in awful conditions and you've still been profitable, meaning that you are a fantastic trader. You can use that skill to then go elsewhere to either another prop firm, and we'll speak about that, about that shortly, or trade your own funds moving forward. For those that had a live account already, you would have been paid back your fee that you paid initially for the challenge. So essentially that's a free account. Hopefully you've had some payouts from that. And again, you can now move forward and apply the skill of passing those challenges or evaluations or different phases with different prop firms. For those that have just bought a challenge or were currently in the challenge stage, then in terms of a refund, first off, I would contact your bank because if you've paid money to that company and it turns out that you were a victim of fraud or a scam at the moment we're saying fraud which is what's in the documentation then i know people already that have had their money back through their bank in terms of getting the money back through mff who knows what's going to happen with that they have a hearing on the 11th of september in my experience based on other financial investigations in the past and what i see online this isn't something that's going away straight away worst case scenario there's a full investigation and mff gets shut down are they going to have enough money to pay back everybody that bought a challenge. Who knows? However, my view is go to your bank first, contact them to say, I've been a victim of fraud. This is what's happened. You can send them the court documentation and I already know people that have had a refund back from that. Before I answer the question of where do I go from here, it's important that you understand how prop firms work. I'm a good person to speak on this topic because I was approached about 12 months ago from a liquidity provider saying, would you like your own prop firm? You have a large following of traders. Therefore, you could have this prop firm, you can provide this to them, it will be your face and they will provide all the liquidity. I turned that down on the basis that so many other influencers now are setting up prop firms. Every trading influencer you look at, oh, I've got this new prop firm, this prop firm is launching, it's essentially just a way for them to make money. Because when you understand how prop firms work, they make money when you lose, genuinely. Let's talk about how a general prop firm works. They have challenges. You pay money for that challenge. That is a demo account that you're trading. If you lose, they keep the money. 95% of traders lose. Therefore, they keep 95% of all deposits into their company accounts on the basis of challenges that you complete. Let's say you pass the challenge and then verification or phase one and phase two, you are then given a live account, but you're not given a live account. It's still a demo account. And what they do is they simulate those trades. They don't put those trades to the live market. This is called B-Book. So they don't, you place the trade, they don't send it to the live market. If you lose, they haven't lost any money because they're not putting your trades to the live market. 
They've therefore retained their money, they've had your challenge money, and then you have to start again. However, if you win, then what they do, they pay you out from the money that's been paid from challenges from other traders that have lost. And that's the initial model. That's how they make their money. However, let's say after three months, you've been profitable and consistent. They then put you to a book, which means that they do put your trades to the market. If you win, they win. And if you lose, they lose. And they get the opportunity based on each month to decide whether you should be on a book or whether you should be on B book and those trades are simulated. Again, I know all of this because I was contacted by a liquidity provider who said, this is how it works. This is what we'll do for you. They said to me, you should do this. It will be your face. You can funnel all your traders through into this prop firm. And when they all lose, you'll make money. And I said, I'm not doing that whatsoever because my whole aim is to help traders, not to hinder them. It's my reputation on the line and I do not want to accept a deal like that. However, I know that there are multiple influencers online now that have new prop firms. Is it with the same liquidity provider that contacted me? The one that contacted me was a huge liquidity provider that had shown me examples of other prop firms they had set up with some trading influencers that I cannot mention. Just be extremely careful when you're taking a challenge on the basis that someone that you look up to who trades has set up a prop firm. In terms of what's going on with MFF as well, you're going to see so many videos online about is this the end of prop firms? What's happening now? Prop firms are going down the pan. This is the end of it for trading and uh, for traders as well. And a lot of the people that are recording these videos are prop firm owners. And then you will see in the description, get 25% off my prop firm. It's all clickbait. So let's talk about now. Now you know how they work. What do you do moving forward? So the CFTC, who have made these allegations against MFF, they have had the power, working with the authorities, to freeze the MFF accounts. Now with, normally again with a prop firm, like I said, you have a third party liquidity provider. With MFF, it was all in the same loop with the same CEO. Therefore, they could manipulate the market and do what they wanted with spreads and slippage and so on. So I would expect that there is going to be regulation and investigation into the majority of prop firms in the US, Canada, also the UK. Again, I've looked into their liquidity providers and making sure that the liquidity providers, again, all the information should be on the website, who, they're, who they trade through, who the broker's through, who the liquidity provider is. If it's not, for me, that's a warning sign. If you can get that information and find out that they are regulated and they are trusted, they'll also get a trust score as well. Then if you've done your due diligence, you can be satisfied that you can go with that prop firm and then start your journey again. Just because MFF is gone for now, does not mean it's the end of the world. I did not start out as a trader with my goal of, I wanna be funded a 100,000 pound account. My goal was I want to be a good trader, not I want a 100,000 pound account. Because if I'm a good trader, I can diversify, I can get 100,000 here, 100,000 there, 100,000 here, 200,000 down there. I'm not relying on that one company and you should never be reliant either, which is why it's important to diversify. Also as well, if you do do a new challenge with a different prop firm, again, I recommend European prop firms at the moment. Some people are speaking about Dubai prop firms as well. I haven't really looked into that too much at the moment, but the ones that, the names that I have seen, I just don't recognize. And again, are they influencer based? I need to have a look and so on. In my opinion, the ones that have been around the longest are great. The one that I would say that I still thoroughly trust is FTMO. That's a Czech Republic based prop firm. There are others that are speaking about TFF. TFF, again, I've used, they are Hungarian prop firm, European prop firm. You're gonna see on the CFTC list that there are a number of prop firms, what they call on the red list, which is in relation to regulation, but that's in relation to the US and Canada. And then there are so many different other prop firms, European. Again, do your own research. This is not financial advice in terms of what you should do. I'm just giving you my opinion in terms of the way to move forward as a trader. So first off, again, your goal shouldn't be to be funded 100,000 pounds. What it should be is to be a good trader, whether that be growing your own personal account. Let's say, I know a lot of people don't, but this applies with the numbers. Let's say that you have 100,000 pounds to trade. Well, it's your decision at the time. If you start trading your own personal account, well, that £400,000 is at risk. Whereas you could go to another prop firm that you trust, pay £1,000 to do a challenge past that, 
and have a hundred thousand pound account and actually all that you've risked is one thousand pounds if that prop firm does end up going down the panel something happens then at least you've only risked that one thousand pounds as opposed to risking your full one hundred thousand pounds when you're trading again it's very very difficult you need to make sure that you have good psychology especially when you're trading your own money but that's the way that i look at it prop firms are a great way to get started they're a great way to give you a stepping stone on that ladder my view is that this is not the end of prop firms actually it's probably welcomed regulation i didn't know what was going on in the background the whole world didn't know what was going on in the background but they were considered to be one of the biggest prop firms and it's likely that greed got hold of them and therefore they started to try and make as many traders lose as possible i've had a lot of questions on my instagram the whole situation what prop firms would you recommend is this the end of it if MFF are one of the biggest trusted prop firms, well, how does that mean we're not being manipulated by others? I think I've answered how prop firms work and what you need to look out for. Again, there are specific prop firms that I trust moving forward, um, and I've been quite vocal about those. But one of the things that I would just say is that as a trader, you are going to have ups and downs. You have wins, you have losses, you have break-evens, you have losing streaks, you have winning streaks. What I see is a lot of people at the moment are saying, that's why I lost my account, was because of the manipulation. Even though you may have taken eight out of 10 bad trades. As long as you've got a good plan and you are consistent with that plan, then if you've passed the challenge already, you can do that again somewhere else. If you lost that significant drawdown or you risk 5% a day, then again, that's something that you need to work on. You should never be risking more than 1% a day. So that should never have been a situation. As a trader, you need to learn to adapt. For all successful traders that I know and that I see, this is just another stumbling block. What do you do? You pick yourself up, you either trade your own account, or you look at different accounts that do have regulated brokers and liquidity providers, and you pick one of those. I know people who have had prop firm accounts with MFF and other prop firms and have made six figures, and now they've lost their account. Well, what are they going to do? Right, I'll just get one somewhere else. That's all you need to do. I realize it's an awful situation with people that have paid, let's say, all their savings, a thousand pounds, to try and get a hundred thousand pound account or two hundred thousand pound account or even higher. I sympathize with you so much. But what you have to do is contact your bank and ask for that money back and then get that money back and then start again. I've spoken about the longest prop firm account that's been around, FTMO since 2014. When I first started trading, that was the only one that was there. You know what, they are more expensive and you have to get 10% instead of 8%. But you know what, if you want someone that you can trust, they have the longest standing track record. I know after this video, I will still have a lot of people that contact me and say, yes, but who should I go to? I've spoken about FTMO who have the long, longest standing track record I first started. And you know what, when I first started trading, you did not need a prop firm to be a successful trader. You traded your own money, you found the money. Instead of putting that thousand pounds into the prop firm, you traded that yourself. And it may be that we have to go back to that. However, at the moment, prop firms are still around. There's this one that's being investigated because they broke the rules. And from the allegations, they manipulated the markets and made people lose. That doesn't mean that all the other prop firms on the market are frauds, but do your due diligence, look into the prop firm that you are going to sign up with. Don't just go with the one because it's the cheapest. Go with the most reputable. I would advise trying to go one that's a European prop firm. I see that there's gonna be a lot of problems with ones again in USA, Canada, and UK, and so on. A lot of investigations to make sure that everyone is acting in accordance with their regulations. Do your research and then from there you can be happy to know that you've done what you can to ensure that your money is safe, that your trading account is safe as well. If you do have any questions, I'm always here. You can DM me on my IG at Luke. You can message below as well on this YouTube channel. By all means, get in touch and I'll try and help you as much as I can. But what you have to do as the traders moving forward is pick yourself up, carry on, realize that you are stronger then this little speed bump in the road, if you got funded once, you can get funded again. I hope that this video has been helpful. That's my take on the whole situation at the moment. If anything changes, I'm happy to update this video. All I would say is there are so many new prop firms out there at the moment. 
just be very careful who you're giving your money to. Take care. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.